Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a quick project share for Click Kits. And this is going to be um, a project share because um, I actually finished this recently and I just, I had so much fun making it. So I'll, I'll kind of give you an idea of um, how I put this together. I did want to show you also just quickly before I get started with that, a little swatch page that I've done for the Prima Metallics, the watercolors that I received as well in my most recent click kits. I will link everything in the description box below for you if you wanted to check out what I'm talking about to see what I received and also projects that I have been making with the various click kits products that I have right now. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer from the lovely metallics of the watercolors. I am absolutely in love with it. I hope that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to see if it, it'll catch the light here and there. I'm working on some projects actually with some watercolors. So I wanted to just quickly show you, um, you know, the colors that are in that collection. And then I also um, tried out the Beam Paints. And this is the Ice Collection. And I just, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love all the shimmers and the colors. These are, you know, handmade um watercolors as well which I think are just very lovely so I'll come back very soon and show you what I'm working on with those but I wanted to just quickly show you my swatch page because I'm so happy with it I did use just your regular sketch book the mixed media book I should say to um to try the water paints okay so for this lovely project I'm so happy with it I used the magnolia rouge collection from prima marketing this is part of the ice and fire kit in uh, the click kits shop and i'm using i guess the fire side of it i've also combined it with a, a taste of tim holtz and i'll show you how that is in a minute so the first thing that i loved about this paper which is double-sided is the lovely gold inlays that it has as you can see there and i used one of the labels from the collection i will be writing you know what this has in it very soon but i just finished it and i was so excited and i wanted to show it to all of you all right so when i open it up you can see that i've made a super fun and easy ephemera holder okay i love the double-sided paper so i thought it was perfect to use as my cover because then i can see both of the you know the designs on it now because with click kids i received many ephemera pieces from the uh, ice and fire kits i'm using the fire kit right now because i wanted to add some of those ephemera pieces in here plus some of the other pieces that came with a taste of tim holtz this is the sampler kit and it came with the paper dolls so you'll see how i've organized them in a little bit i wanted to add just you know some pockets that i could make sure to keep everything together you can see these are some of the tickets that came in the collection so i know i have some of them here as well and this will be easy for me when i want to pull it out to work on some ephemera pieces or projects that i'm working on i'll be able to see quickly what i have so these are some of the paper dolls that are standing up these were the shorter ones these were the taller ones so i kind of made sure to add them that way these over here you can see there's just more of them and i wanted to also make sure that the you know the feet didn't get bent or they didn't get all twisted in the bags that it came in so i made sure that um you know i lay them nice and flat and stagger them so this way if i'm looking for a particular you know paper doll i can just pull them out and quickly see what i have on this side i made um i added a, the ones that are actually sitting so you can see most of these paper dolls are actually sitting down so i wanted to also know how many of those i have um, in case i was looking for that sort of um you know design when i'm using the collection here so that's that piece there these ones are the labels that came in the collection now these are labels slash tags because you can punch out or pop out i should say the little um you know circle that it already kind of has ready to be popped out however 
for the cover, I decided to leave it in because I was not using it as a tag. I'm using it as a label. So these are like different sizes of tags. All of them are tags here. Um, if I wanted to make them a tag, this one actually, um, yeah, right there too. So all of these are tags and these are some of the labels that again are tags. So that one's got a little perforation. This one doesn't. These ones are actually like little labels and they were so tiny. I didn't want to lose them, but I also wanted to know that I have them there, right? All right, so then moving on, I made a different pocket on this side because this sticker sheet came with the collection and I wanted to keep it flat. And then these are some of the lovely ephemera pieces that also came in this collection. And now I know that I have these, you know, pieces of die cuts that I can use in the project. And if I want to quickly pull something out, I'll just grab a bunch of them, look at them and put them back. It's easier for me than dumping out a whole bag of ephemera and then kind of going through it. So at least this way I can remember what's where and, you know, where the collection um, is from. So I find that for me, that just makes it so much easier to find items that I'm working on and items that I want to use. I left this empty for now. There's another pocket up here. And then this lower packet holds the tags that came in the A Taste of Tim Holtz um, uh, kit. So the tags came with that and these came with it as well. And then the rest that are here came from the fire kit and of course the the dolls there so i just i really love it i like that i can grab it and take it with me if i need to i did not want to add that many pages to it because i knew that i was just strictly holding these sort of collections in here i think i will be making one with the uh, the next, uh, maybe like the winter collection, or I should say the ice collection. Um, and this is the pages from, um, it's called Simple Vintage Winter Woods. And this is from uh, Simple Stories, actually. Now, this paper is a little thinner than this one. And so maybe if I were to make them with the thinner cardstock, I would probably reinforce it. But let me just quickly let you know what I did so you can get an idea. I figured that I would show you what I did because it's not um, not something that would take that long to put together if you wanted to make one. But if you would like to see me make one, leave a comment below and let me know. So what I did is I took the 12 by 12 that you can see here. I folded it in half and then I folded the bottom up so it would be eight and a half tall because I wanted it to be like eight and a half inches tall. And then the part that was left over, I cut it into pockets. So you can see there's a pocket there, a pocket there, and the two back here. So I wanted those to be pockets. Again, I love the colors, a double-sided paper. It was thick enough for what I wanted to use it for, and this just makes such a lovely cover for my ephemera holder. All right, so for this one, you can quickly just kind of get an idea. But the reason I used strips like these is because I had these in my stash. Um, these, I'm not even sure where they came from. I've had them for a while, I guess. And they already have the perforation. You can see that there. And so I was thinking, well, how am I going to use these and how can I repurpose them? And so I figured, you know, just kind of stripping them and cutting them down. I haven't even checked if I'm in frame this whole time. I apologize. I hope I was in frame the whole time. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I just, you know, tore up the strips. So you can see that there. And then I just glued the three sides to make the pockets. And so I didn't want to have too many pockets. I wanted to make sure I fit my little paper people there. But then I also wanted space for, like I said, the rest of the ephemera. And then these ones were just leftover cardstock that I had that I wanted to put to good use. And so this um, just really works for me. So that's why I said I'm not really sure if you want me to go through the process of, you know, putting it together. So the 12 by 12 sheet made the pockets with the excess. And then the pages, I again, it's the same thing. I just grabbed my cardstock, folded it in half, and then started attaching my pockets. Now, the way I did the binding, super easy. I just stapled this one. You could just as easily do the stitching, so you could stitch it, you know, together. 
or you could do the easy binding of just punching holes and then feeding your ribbon through it um but yeah it was so fun and easy to put together like i said i might make more for the other ephemeras that i have from click kids but um i really like how this one came out i'm going to try maybe a different variety next time to see if i want to bind it differently or maybe add the pages a little differently but right now i'm just so happy with how this came, came together so i hope you enjoyed this quick project share like i said i didn't think i had to go through the process of making one because it's um it's you know pretty easy to make as i explained but if you really do need to see me make one leave a comment below and let me know i will have links to the kits i have used like i said i love this collection um in the description box below for click kits and then check out my playlist i have many other projects that i've made um for the last little while for click kits i have the other unboxings as well and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the projects and you find some inspiration today. Thanks so much for stopping by.